Hello, uh, my name is Christoph Bales. In the next five minutes, I'm going to talk about office hours. At the developers meeting last year, which was still virtual, uh, there was one session where uh, there was a discussion uh, about a, a survey we ran for with the uh, attendees last year. And so 450 attendees replied uh, to the question, uh, what do you think hinders an increased engagement in and contributions to the LLVM community? And the answers given were very consistent. And uh, the top three uh, are on the slide. So sometimes people aren't receiving detailed enough feedback on their proposals. The second is that people are worried to come across as an idiot when asking questions on the mailing list and on record forever on the internet. And the third is uh, people cannot always find where to start and where to find documentation and how to get going. That presentation inspired me to think a little bit about, like, is there anything we could do to try and help overcome these issues? And I think one of the possible solutions is this thing called office hours. So what is it? Uh, it is people with some experience in LLVM to make themselves available at a specific time uh, for anyone in the world to call in and have a conversation with them. Um, the term office hours, I think it comes from the academic system. Um, where at least at some universities, professors make them available for a specific hour during the week for students uh, for uh, any kind of questions they have. So yeah, I, I do think of it as it's as a kind of like, ask me anything uh, by uh, experienced LLVM contributors or users. Um, it is an opportunity to talk one-to-one -one with other LLVM people without needing to travel to, the, to a dev meeting. So it's great that we all here can uh, talk to each other uh, face to face. Um, I'm really enjoying that, but that only happens two, uh, two days in a year or maybe four days in a year if you also count your LVM. It would be great if you can also do this like at other times in the year. Um, and maybe you could also look at this as a, it could be a form of mentoring. Anyway, uh, we started, uh, some of us started doing office hours a few months ago. We're, uh, we've published who does office hours on our getting involved page on the website. Currently we have 10 hosts. Uh, on the website it describes which kind of topics uh, we, we're very comfortable talking about, uh, when we meet, uh, the video link to, to, call into the, to call into it, and also the languages we speak in an attempt to make sure that for people who may not be very fluent uh, in English, Maybe they find someone who speaks their native language. About two weeks ago, uh, I did a, a small service a survey with uh, the current office host to, to see what are their experiences. Uh, and I've put a number of quotes from the feedback on the slide. So, so a first quote is, uh, I see newcomers calling in and they're typically looking for how Clang is organized and how the the, the code structure is organized. I also have experienced folks uh, dialing in and they do it mainly to reconnect and to discuss the, the health of the community. Um, another quote is, uh, I see this as a, a great way to see what kind of struggles newcomers have with getting involved, both technical struggles, trying to understand the code base, how things work, how to implement something, but also the social ones, like for example, how do I find someone who can review my code? Uh, how, What's the, the right protocol to get a patch up? Um, so another quote is um, the, this, this office host also has the experience that they had uh, many newcomers sticking around in the community uh, and they were, uh, they were successful. So giving them some guidance made them a successful uh, contributor uh, pretty quickly. Uh, I'm starting to run out of time, so I'm going to speed up. So. Uh, on the negative side, there's also quite a few hosts who have no one dialing in, and I'm guessing that's because of uh, we're not advertising this uh, enough. Um, so the, for the next steps, we probably need to work on advertising, not just here, like I think of the group that we have here as like the inner circle of the LLVM community, but there's like a much bigger outer circle of the LLVM community of people who don't come here. So we need to find ways to advertise that better. If you do have ideas on how to improve office hours further, 
please do come along to the roundtable this afternoon. Thank you very much.